Athabaskan Basin presently dominates the uranium production in Canada. And to the north of it is the Thelon Basin, which is basically virgin. And the native Canadian tribes are just basically beginning to sell their rights to allow this mining to come in. And you're going to see a, a big opening in the Thelon Basin, and Alberta Star is leading the way. The CEO of Alberta Star, Tim Copeland, is the brother of best-selling author Douglas Copeland, who also happens to be a major shareholder in the company. It has seen its stock price soar from 20 cents to almost $3, an increase of 1,500%, and has become one of the fastest growing mining exploration companies in North America. The age of fossil fuels is coming to an end, and what's going to keep the lights on? It's going to be uranium. With the resurgence in uranium prices and what we call the sort of the new renaissance, the exploration companies are getting significantly finer, so particularly if there's uranium or a sniffer uranium in the area. Driving the company's soaring stock price is speculation that the Satu Dene First Nations will allow new uranium mining at an old abandoned mine, known to the Dene as Samba K, the money place. The abandoned mine sits on the eastern shores of Great Bear Lake, the eighth largest freshwater lake in the world. 